Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumisetti. In this video, we'll cover top 20 PLSQL interview question. Those who are preparing for interview, this video will be helpful. Okay, so try to watch completely. Okay. Question number one. Okay, how to find the Oracle version? Okay, so it can be achieved by using the query, select star from VDAL version. Okay, so this is one of the important question. How can you find the Oracle version? With the help of the query, select star from VDAL version. It can be 11G, 12C, 18C, 19C. Same thing, second question is that one. What's the role or job profile needs to apply if you know PLSQL? If you know PLSQL, now what happened? We can able to apply for Oracle PLSQL developer, then Oracle database developer. If you know PLSQL, we can able to apply for PLSQL developer and the database developer. Question number three is what? Which tool or ID used for PLSQL or database development in your current? ID is nothing but it's an integrated development environment. If you want to develop, compulsory should require one tool. It can be Oracle SQL developer, PLSQL developer, and a tool. So by using this, we can able to create any, any PLSQL programs. Oracle SQL developer, PLSQL developer, and a tool. Question number four is what? What is dual table? So it is available in Oracle database only. If you want to do any calculation, we'll make some dual table. It has only one column that is dummy, and column name is dummy and value is x. Okay, so this is important question. Okay, so the column name is dummy and the value is x and data type is var cat 2 and size is 1. Okay, so name of the column is dummy, its value is x. So data type is var cat 2 and data size is 1. Okay, so if you want to do anything like select this state from there, select if you want to do any automatic operation, we'll go for select 100 plus 100 from there. Next question is that want to see the result of DBM output package in SQL developer tool. So we should enable set server output on. Okay, so if you want to see the result with the help of DBM output, we should enable set server output. If you don't want, we should put set server output off. Next question is that what can you perform DDL statements in PLSQL blocks? Like also like anonymous block or new blocks. Okay, if you want to perform DDL like create, alter, truncate, so it is not possible. We should make some dynamic SQL that is with the help of execute embed, we can able to achieve this. Next question is that what? What is the ticketing tool used for database development? So if you want to do now what we'll have the ticketing tools. It can be Zira, it can be Azure DevOps, it can be Monday. Like depends on the company, like this will be this. Okay, so most of the companies will use Jira ticketing tool. In a similar fashion, next question is what? Types of exceptions. Okay, it can be Oracle predefined and user defined. So Oracle provide predefined exceptions and as a developer, database developer, we can able to customize the exception with the help of user defined exception. Next question is that what? Various ways to call processor. It can be called by using EXCC processor name, execute processor name, and the call processor name, and using anonymous block, and using name block. So this is very, very important because as a database developer, we should know, we should call processor. How can you call by using EXCC processor name or by using execute keyword or by using call processor name or using anonymous like begin and or use the name blocks. It can be processor function package. We can able to call this process. Okay, so this is very, very important. In a similar fashion, next question is that what? I have a processor. It has a thousand lines of code. I want to find that. So it is not followed debug error line. So what I can made a feature like DBMS utility dot format error backup. By using this package, we can able to find the exact error line number. One more, this is one more important question. So suppose like I'm, I'm having so much of code, but I want to find the specific error line. It is not possible to debug each and every line. That's fine. So PLS equal made a like Oracle made a package like DBMS utility dot format error backup. By this, we can able to find the exact error line number. There, we can able to figure out and we can able to resolve the issue. Next question is that what? some predefined exceptions. So this is one more important question. So Oracle provides some predefined exceptions. That is no data font, too many rows, zero divide, cards are already open, invalid cards are okay. So these are some predefined, there are so many things. So we should know at least three to four. Okay, while giving an interview, no data font, too many rows, zero divide, cards are already open, invalid cards. Okay, so, so these two are cards are exceptions. This is normal exception. In a similar fashion, next question is that word, how to set date format? Okay, so for like in some companies, they want to set different date format and we should make so alter session set NLS date format equals to YY DD, YY year, 
month, date, hours, minutes, seconds. So this is a 24 hour format. This is the endless date format. If you want to set anything, we should make some endless date format. So V dollar endless parameter. You can able to get all the things in the select star from V dollar endless parameters. Okay, there we can able to get all these things. Okay, the same thing. Next step is that what? Next question is that what? How many primary keys can be created in a single table? This is very, very important. Okay. So before that, primary key is a combination of unit plus not null. Okay. See. So the answer is that what? Only one primary key can be created. If you want to have multiple columns, we should make some composite primary key. Okay. So point is that what? Only one primary key can be created in a single table. And if you want to have multiple combination of columns, then we should go for composite primary key. Next question is that what? What is GTT? So GT is not but global temporary table. It's a session specific table. Okay. So if you want to do any changes, it won't reflect in the other session. So this is also one of the important. So GTT. Okay. Have the complete idea of what is it? So it's a global temporary table. We can simply say it's a session specific table. One session data is not visible to other sessions. Okay. Only particular session we can able to access. It's a GTT global temporary table. Next question is that what types of cursors in PLC? Okay, so what types of cursors we are having in PLC? Well, it can be implicit cursor, explicit cursor. Okay, so this is implicit variety provider cursor, explicit programmer developer cursor. Okay, so again, this is important. Okay, so whatever discussing the topic now, like complete idea of all the topics so that we can able to easily crack PLC. Well, next question is that what select decode from C. This is the conditional state. See, this is a the condition. Key two is the key, three is the value. So four is the key, five is the value. Okay, so it's a key value. Now see one is not matching, we'll get okay. See what happened. Okay, so I guess this answer is wrong. One second. Okay. So suppose see this answer will be what one match. So it is not matching. It is not matching. Okay, so output will be it is not the five, it is output is null. Okay. Get the point. Suppose if see four is there, then Four for matching or will be five. Okay, so getting the points. So the answer is okay. So this answer is okay. Get the points. Next question is that what? How to get code of a processor function and package? If you want to see the code of a processor function package, so it will be by using all underscore source we can able to get. Okay, all source. Okay, so there we can able to get the processor fun processor function package code. Okay. If you want to search anything, we can go for select star from all source. We can able to get the things done. Okay. So this is also one of the things. Okay. So what are discussion? This are very important. Okay. At least five, five to ten questions we can able to expect. So the next question is that what syntax for CT. CT is that what common table expression or it's a with plus. So with CTS. So this entire thing, so this entire thing we are putting into CTE and we can able to use the same thing. Okay, so one more time, see this entire thing we are putting in one, one expression or one, one name and this we can able to use multiple. Things. This is common, you will access temporary table, you can say. Okay, so CTE, common table expression. Next question is that what? Cursor attributes. Okay, it can be percentage pawn, percentage not pawn, percentage is open, percentage row pawn. So these are also very, very important okay, because so ultimately there are 15 to 20 topics are there in PLC. Well, if you understand, we can able to exit back. Okay. So percentage is found, percentage is not found, percentage is open, percentage is row count. Okay. So, so this is clear. So, so it can be implicit cursor attributes and explicit cursor. If it is implicit, we should put SQL percentage. This is implicit. If it is explicit, we should get the a cursor name percentage. So this is implicit cursor attribute or explicit cursor attribute. So next question is that what? So select count of star from DN where null equal to null. Tell me, so see null, one null cannot be equal with, and so answer will be, answer will be zero because, so one nulls can be compared. Nulls can be compared by using east null and east null. If it is east null, then output will be one. So remember, one null cannot be equal with another. Okay, for this is like this, we can able to understand. So this is things. So if you want to understand, before PLC, you know, first understand the SQL concept. Okay. So, a great function, analytical function, join solves. Okay. okay, if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching. If you have to compulsory watch this video, it will be helpful. Thank you for watching.